Hello friends, what I am going to talk in next 20 minutes or 15 minutes is that critical appraisal of diagnostic studies. Now first of all we need to understand what exactly is critical appraisal is. Critical appraisal is the process of systematically examining research evidences to judge its trustworthiness. How far the truthfulness is associated with that particular study, its value, its relevance in a particular context. It allows clinicians to use research evidences reliably and efficiently because then only you can rely on that particular study and then you can implement it if it is required at your own setup. So critical appraisal is intended to enhance the healthcare professional skills to determine whether the research evidence is true, that is free of bias, there is no bias and relevant to their patients, whether they are applicable to their own setup or not. So if you see the evidence based practice, the how we go, the cycle goes like this, first we assess, then ask, then acquire and then appraise and this is what is the point where exactly we are going to insist upon the appraise, the how the appraisal is done and after that you apply it for your own patient or setup and then finally you audit it retrospectively whether the things have gone in the right way or not and may be done in a prospective manner also. Now for doing critical appraisal we need to have four important things that is is the paper which we are going to do this appraisal is worth reading and are the results of the study valid which has been done are the valid results of this diagnostic study important and the fourth can I apply these valid important results to my own patients. So first of all is this paper worth reading or not now or we can say is this test relevant to my practice or not for that how you can go first of all whenever you see a paper you see you for the shortage of time if you have just see the introduction the abstract and conclusion of the study and if you see that yes somewhere it is important for me then it is not unusual to find that conclusions drawn from the research paper are not related to the results presented. So many a time such kind of flaws are there or that the methodology used is able to answer the research question posed. So that is many a times it happens. So how can we assess whether a paper is worth reading or not? So one method is achieving uh, to this is to have a systematic process of assessing the reliability, relevance and the result of published paper and this is referred to as critical appraisal and that is what we are going to see in next few slides. Then are the results of